I've updated the turbo manifold flange. Let's unbox it and take a look at the differences. Welcome back. If you're new to the channel, I'm Matt. We got a custom CNC turbo manifold flange in just now. And this is a revised version of what's currently on the car. And we'll talk a little bit why I decided to go ahead and make these changes. But let's unbox this thing, take a look at it. We'll talk about it. Wow! I see US Customs has gone through my stuff again. All right, let's unbox this. See how good of a job they did. And we'll talk about some of the simple changes and why I decided to make those changes. Oh yes, I can feel it already. Very nice. Huh. Well, I guess that's just how they machined it. <laughs> So here is the redesigned flange here, and I think you can kind of see what I'm doing here. Rather than the pipe sitting down into the flange and having to weld onto the flange itself, I thought it would be a great idea for there to be a little bit of a leg that comes out so you're only welding on this part and not heating up the flange. Keeping this thing from warping, in which the one that's on the car a little bit, this ear warped up just a touch, so I've got a little bit of a leak on the side. It was fine when I initially welded it up. However, because I didn't mock it up on the car before I fully welded things up, I did have to go back, cut it, and lengthen it about three quarters of an inch, which I did off camera. You can see here, where I added these extra little legs where I've got a couple sections where I normally would just make this a single piece. And it might be hard to tell, but you can see right down in there where there is a little bit of a gap because that ear just lifted up just a hair, just enough to make this thing want to leak. So this will help solve some of those warpage issues once I put this into my jig and weld this up, we'll be putting a lot less heat into this manifold turbo flange part so that way it doesn't warp. And I'm still trying to figure out the best way I want to release these out into the market because it is quite pricey to have these machined off. I'm going to get some more quotes from some other people and I may either just offer it as a file that you can send to your own person or machine them yourselves out of whatever material you want, whether it's stainless steel which this is stainless steel you could do it out of mild steel and I'm not sure I want the headache of having to ship these out ship it internationally I think it'd be pretty simple just to have an option to purchase the file download it and then you know send it off to someone local or wherever you want to send it it'd be a lot easier of a, a transaction however but then what comes to mind is the fact that you know, someone could take this file and then just rip my work off and go to the market behind my back kind of thing. So I don't know, let me know what you think down in the comments, but that is the reason why I redesigned this flange and had another prototype sent over, but it does have a nice flow from the shape of the head casting to a 1.5 schedule 10 transition it's very nice and smooth and i had them open up these recesses a little more because one of the things that i was running into it was hard to get hardware in there to actually bolt up the turbo manifold flange after i had designed it so i would have to take a nut and kind of cut it down a little bit so i had them open that up you can see this hardware right here where i had to narrow its diameter in order to make this work this may be a little bit better of an example where you can see the raw steel right there. So this is going to be a pretty short one. And I know you guys have been waiting and wondering what this car will make on the dyno. So I do have a dyno session scheduled. I'm not gonna tell you with whom, but I'm really excited about it. Just get it all tuned up by someone that is very familiar with fuel tech. And we'll put down some dyno numbers finally before we wrap up this all-wheel drive conversion. Really the only stall on that is I have a few more parts, custom parts coming in to make this thing happen. Let me know what you think down in the comments. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't, and we'll see you in the next one. Peace out. <laughs>